step one, installing the latest Octolabs and Octoprint. Mind you, I'm doing this tutorial uh, based on the fact that I think you have Octoprint, so I'm not going to go through the installation of Octoprint. But if you would like me to do a tutorial on how to install Octoprint, let me know in the comments below and I'll do so. All right. So to install Octolabs, you need to basically you could copy this link. You could copy link and then in Octoprint. Go through the basics, go through the, uh, go to the gears and go to plugin manager, get more. And you can just enter this URL in here and click install, but this is not the latest version. So we're not going to do it that route. The way you might want to do it is you want to, you want to go to, oh, you want to go to this link, right? All the way up to Octolabs, copy, open another window up, paste that in there. This will show up, Octolabs, then you can go to latest releases and copy this link. All right? Much better. This is the link, right? Or three, then you could go back to Octolabs, do the gears, go to plugin manager, get more, and then paste that in here, then install. I'm gonna do that anyways, because I don't know if I have the latest version. So this is going, I have it installed, but I, I'm just going to install this. So we're going to wait through it, go through, through the process of installing. Once it's done, take a little time. Come on, do your thing. No thing. I hope this knows that that's a my octopus. I got my stuff running nice. <laughs> right, so installing. Building wheel of, uh, of Octolab start. Probably fast forward through this. It's done. I want to close that. It's saying we need to restart now. So the changes to take effect. We could do that. That's no problem. And that's pretty much it. Once it restarts, once the, the server restarts, it's going to, I'm going to, I'm going to show you that, that it's working. So it restarted. We'll save. <clears throat> and then if we go in here, this is our Octolabs. Then you'll see a, a tab up here that says Octolabs. And that's pretty much it. All right. Okay, so step two is going to deal with Gphoto 2, the installation of it, right? So all we're going to need is uh, command prop if you're using Windows or PowerShell. And you're going to want to SSH into your Raspberry Pi. Once you do that, you want to run these commands, sudo app get install Gphoto. Mine is already installed, so I get Gphoto is already the newest version you will get a totally different message that says installing and it's going to go through the, uh, the process of installing. Now, for good measures, uh, they also say to install the libg photo 2 developer package. I'm going to do that. Mine's already installed, so we message. And that's pretty much it for installing gphoto. Okay, so step three, configuring the sudoers file. All right, basically we're gonna add one file, uh, one line to the sudoers file, which is gonna tell it that gphoto2 can run as root without needing a password. That's it, all right? So sudo, the sudo is gonna bring up the nano editor. There's another way you could do this, but uh, go into that. But yeah, so this is the line you want to add. I already added it. So it basically is telling uh, uh, the Pi, like I said, when, when, uh, when user bin G photo is ran, run it as root, no password is necessary. That's it, all right? Once you do that, you're gonna control zero, control O, not zero. Control O is uh, the file name to write, enter, and then control X to exit. I have a syntax error. I knew I did that. So, we're gonna go back in there. 
Right. Okay, so control zero, enter, and then control X. That's it. Step three is pretty much done. Oh, uh, there's one more step it tells you to take, which is um type where is G photo. And it tells you exactly the location of G photo just in case you need to know the location. And then when you go inside of the pseudo, that location should match this. Or if it's not, if it doesn't match, put the location you got from where is right here and you should be good to go. Control zero again, enter and control X. That's it for step. All right, uh, this is going to be step four of the process and it is testing the camera, making sure G photo two auto detects it. So what we'll do is we'll copy this command, copy face and our camera is the sony alpha a6000 and it's in control mode that means we can control the sony alpha on on the from the, from the raspberry pi which is a good thing all right so next command we'll be running is this command over here and this command is just going to capture image and save it on the camera all right so we captured the image real quick okay so that, that now you're going to see that we're going to take the image again and then download it now it's going to take a snapshot and download the image to the raspberry pi there we go if we ls structure that we have tapped 00.jpg right we could remove that it on there and that's pretty much it for step four all right step five uh create a snapshot script so basically once our camera is set up and we know the camera is working we need to create a script that will allow us to like just um take snapshots while we 3d printing right so basically we go on to CD into our home directory home slash pi scripts. Tab is to like complete autocomplete. So now we're in the scripts folder. We need to create a file. So we go into nano. Nano is our text editor. Snapshot. I already have the snapshot done. We're just gonna go through the process and show you and show you how it. This is my snapshot. So if I didn't have that, let's say I created another full uh, file, snapshot to the S. All you have to do now is go into the link that I'm gonna give y'all on this video is copy, then work probably paste. And that's pretty much it. This will tell the camera, it's gonna run a command. It's gonna, this is a, a script. It's gonna go through the script and take a snapshot and and do what it do. All right, so control O again, control X to exit. And that's pretty much it. And then we'll sketch mod take mod plus X take snapshots. And now it's executable, right? And and that's it for for this section. Okay, step six, configure Octolab, right? Like it says, we're almost done. You're gonna need your Octolabs window open, wall your Octoprint window, and then Octolabs is going to default uh, to a webcam. This is what's gonna default. You're gonna remove that if you don't need to, if you don't wanna use that. And then you're gonna add a profile by going, um, clicking on the gears, clicking on camera, add profile. Once your profile is there, uh, it's going to show up and then you just like type in the profile name, enable it. Uh, this is the crucial part. Make sure this is uh, external camera script. Okay, once you choose that, you tell it where your uh, take snapshot script is located on your Raspberry Pi. Mine is located at home, Pi scripts, take snapshot. Yours could be home, whatever your, the name of your Pi is, scripts, take snapshot. So remember that Pi might be different on your Raspberry Pi if you change the name. In the uh when you had set up your account. but that's pretty much it on that general options you could uh input the same thing and that's it save once you save 
that's it for the camera. Then you could go to printers, right? And then you can add your printers. You definitely need to add your printers, right? I got two printers added. Click on add, uh, you click on add, and then this will show up. Then you give it a name. And then you could import printers if you have any of these. Okay, just remember that if you have any of these printers, ain't that any cubic, you can import the profile for it. And you tell it uh, what slice are you using. I'm using Kara 4.2. And then you just like put your slicer op uh, options. So layer high, everything that's in your sl slicer, you put in here. Okay, your retraction definitely needs to go in here. So this is my retraction setup. It works for me. I don't complain. I don't get no string and no nothing. So this works for my printer, which is the uh, everything else, uh, layer change detection. This will be default to these numbers, so don't worry about that. Uh, this might not be default to this, so just make sure you read up on the on the information provided, and then you'll know what to do. And that's pretty much it. Extruders, how many extruders you're using, and this right here. This is the default command that you're gonna have to enter in your um your slicer. Octolabs take snapshot. You could put G4P1. Like if you go here, it'll tell you exactly what you need to put there, but uh, it's on you what you want to put. Uh, I don't even think it matters, but that section is up to you if you want to fill it out. Then save, and that's pretty much it on that front. Testing out the snapshot script in Octoprint is pretty simple. Uh, all you need to do is uh, go get a, your camera that you set up, and then. The, the the directory the take snapshot sh is in and all you gotta do is test script and you should see like a little pop-up at the very top telling you is taking the snapshot and camera script succeeded so that means this is working that's all we need to do on this end all right so step seven we'll be dealing with printing and testing out the time lapse to see if it works so all i'm doing right now is setting up my model in cura i downloaded it from printables now i'm setting it up in cura slicing it and after we slice it it'll be ready to print so five hours and 29 minutes we're gonna take a preview once we do the preview, make sure everything is good to go. After that, we just gonna send it to print. Print with Octoprint, and that's it. It's gonna do its thing, send it to Octoprint real quick. Once it's in Octoprint, we're gonna get a window that asks us if the snapshot plan preview is righteous. All we have to do is accept and continue. Once we do that, print is gonna warm up. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> like I keep saying, that's pretty much it. Now, we did preheat the bed so, so we could get a head start. Uh, camera is set up, ready to go. I already did my calibrations with the camera. Uh, light is on. And, yeah, we're just going to wait for that temperature to heat up. We have 54 bed. And uh, extruder didn't heat up yet. So we we still good. We're gonna wait. Now the extruder is heating up, and we're about to start printing. What's gonna happen is the the uh, head is just gonna drop and start printing. I need to like change the G code for that. Make it do like a little testing before it does everything it has to do. But yeah, it's about to print. We got like another degrees ago, and yeah, that's that's it. We, we're almost home. We're almost home. Once it starts printing and we see that it, it takes a snapshot, that's it. The work is done. But you do have to, like, do your own little setups. So don't take it whereas, like, everything that I, that's working for me is going to work for you. It might not work for you. So just make sure you, you know, you set your things up. You uh, dial your stuff in. Because it might not work for you like it worked for me, all right? But Google is always there to help you. And if, if you don't use Google, just, just comment. Hit me up with a comment. Tell me where you went wrong, and I'll try to help you out. All right? But, yeah, here's the first snapshot coming up. We waiting for that snapshot. Let's go. 
this, this is taking forever. But yeah, like I said before, um, comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you like about the video and what you don't like. There's a lot of stuff I, I got to change up. I didn't know like recording this thing was going to be this difficult. But I like doing it, so I'm going to continue to do it. I'm going to try to give y'all more tutorials. Hopefully y'all like it and hopefully I get some subscribers and 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 want to, you know, continue. Cuz I'm not going to keep doing it if I if there's nobody giving me likes and subscribing telling me that okay, I appreciate it. Keep going. So yeah, uh Yeah, I think that's that's it. That's it on that topic. All right, we waiting for it to go. We waiting for the first snapshot. Once that snapshot happens, we're just going to done with the video. <laughs> Enjoy it, you know? Like, follow it step by step. I will include links in the description. Uh, yeah, comment. Ask me questions. Like I said, I'm here to answer questions. And, and also, I'm here to take some criticisms you know what i'm saying like criticize me uh help me you know whatever whatever y'all want to do just um let me know in the comment and i'll try to fix up i'll try to fix up it's only room for improvement like right now we at the lowest level so we only could improve from there so i'm not gonna like say i don't need your help if you are offering help or i'm not gonna say i'm not going to help you if you need some help so just ask me if you have any issues, and I'll help out. I'll help out. All right. I think our first snapshot is about to happen. What I should have done is I should have sped through this um, clip. Boom. And that's it. Our snapshot is done. Okay, I think it's going to do one more probably. Did we do one more? No, we didn't do one more. But yeah, that's it with the tutorial, man. Hope it helps out. If it didn't help out, let me know. If it helped out, let me know. If I could do better, let me know. If I can do better, let me know. All right, thank you very much, everybody. Um, And enjoy the tutorial. Peace out. And here's the snap, uh, here's the time lapse before we go. That's the good old time lapse right there. Let's go. It works. <laughs>